It's R vs Python. In this video, we will compare how to create interaction plots in R and in Python. We will be using fake cancer data with survival days as the response variable and gender and cancer type as factors. We will also include the interaction of gender and type. So sit back and relax while we compare how to create ANOVA tables in R and Python. Analysis of variance interaction plots. First thing we need to do in Python to get this to work, we need to import a few things. So let's import pandas as PD. And from stats models dot graphics dot factor plots, let's import interaction underscore plot. And we'll do from matplotlib import pyplot as PLT. And let's go ahead and make this a matplotlib notebook. Now the first step is to read in the data. In R, we can use read.table to read in text files like the one I showed you at the beginning. So read.table. And we'll put header equals true so that it can use the first line as the header. In Python, we will read it using pandas.read underscore CSV. So we'll put in the txt file and let's put in a regular expression as our separator so it can separate by space. So we'll do slash s plus. And here's what the data looks like in Python. Let me go back over here to R to show you what it looks like in R as well. So you can see that the data was read incorrectly. Let's go ahead and delete those now that we've seen them. Now before we continue, let's make gender a factor. In R, we will reassign the column using the factor function. In Python, we will use the dot as type to turn it into a string. That way we can make sure that it's used as a category and not a numerical value. Now we are ready for the interaction plots. In R, we do interaction dot plot. In this example, we will do type first, then second comes our other categorical variable, so gender. And last is the numerical score value. In this case, that's days. And there is the plot in R. It defaults to black and white with the legend. In Python, we do interaction underscore plot. We will put our categories both first and then the numerical days at the end. So type gender and lastly days. And there is the interaction plot between type and gender in Python. This defaults to red and blue with a legend as well. You can see that these lines look the exact same. In Python, there are a lot of customization you can do to this plot. Let's take a look at those by bringing up the documentation. You can change line style and colors if you want. There you have it. That is how you can create analysis of variance interaction plots in both Python and R. Be sure to watch some of my other Python videos and don't forget to hit subscribe.